Hello everybody and welcome back to Coffee Talk! And the reason I say back is because if you are a long time viewer of this channel, you know I've actually played this game before. It's actually one of the very first games I ever played on my channel, so it has a very near and dear place in my heart. And the reason we are jumping back into this and revisiting the game is because on April 20th, they are releasing the second part of the game. And I am so, so excited, but it's been so long since I played the first one, I have to go back and replay it, just so I remember what happens when we come around to season two. And I just really wanted to play it again. I've been looking for an excuse ever since I saw that it was on Steam, but like, for a while, it only said it coming soon, but I checked on it again recently and I saw that there's an actual date now, so now I have to really jump on it. I really have to get these videos out. We'll be going two days at a time, and we should be able to finish it before April 20th comes around, so I hope you are as excited as I am. Oh, I'm so happy to revisit this. This is one of my favorites. All right, well, without further ado, let's just get on started. See, last played 1-11-2021. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm not gonna get rid of that one, so let's get into this one. New profile. What's your name? We'll go with the good old Yabby. Is Yabby correct? Yes. Welcome, Yabby. All right, let's see. Let's begin our game. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. Seattle 2020. Oh no, I'm three years in the future. You guys have no idea how bad it's gonna get. <laughs> A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and the stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Oh, excitement! Excitement! I'm so happy! <laughs> Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Ring, ring, ring! Freya! Welcome! Oh, it's you! Hey, Yabby. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. Oh, how I've missed you, Freya. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Oh? Ah! Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Alright, I got you. Uh, let's see. Uh, brew pad. Alright, espresso is coffee, coffee, coffee. Blacker than the moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew. Ding ding! 
Is that triple shot? I'm gonna hope. Is that right? One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Oh, yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case don't things go awry. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers. GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Oh no. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, they'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Oh, ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Oh. <laughs> Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Uh, um, well... It, it was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. So... zero. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Who is it? Oh, it's you! Welcome! Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? I was just about to say that! It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please? All right, chocolate, no coffee. Um, how about dark chocolate is chocolate, 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 a warm and calming darkness. Um, is that all we've got? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. There we go. Serve it, baby. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. 
considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business, having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive, running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Yabby here is damn rich, that's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, Yabby can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. Oh man, I wish I was rich. <laughs> so you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, oh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh? Welcome. Hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake, with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Alright, I believe that would be... Coffee milk milk? A caffeine boost dominated by milk. Let's see. Coffee, something bitter to keep me awake, milk, milk. Uh, and how do I do latte art? Uh, I think I need to brew it first. Is that the only green tea latte? Um, uh, let me look at that first. Hang on, reset. Green, milk, milk. Uh, that's the same. Hmm. Let's see. What does this one say? Both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Or Italian delight. Uh, or caffeine boost dominated by milk. What about, hmm, coffee, coffee, milk? Uh, let's try that one. Because it is more bitter than the others. Okay, latte art. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to etch. Oh, I can't. Pour some milk. Woohoo! Yeah. What is it? I don't know. It kind of looks like a poodle. So I'm going to make it a poodle. There we go. Dog ears. And let's get some little spots in there. Let's get the mouth all bit. Oh no. Now it looks like a basset hound. Perfect. I love basset hounds. Here's your order. <laughs> is this what you call latte art? That's cute. Listen, I have a shaky hand. Perfect. Oh, good. Anyway, I was distracted with some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself, either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Yabby. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh? What kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yup, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? 
Uh oh. No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> oh, come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> oh, I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Bye, Freya. Should we move to other seats, too? Nah, here is good. Okay, then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask Yabby here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones that you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now, that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh? Buzz buzz on the phone phone. Oh, another buzz buzz. Oh no. Your parents? Yes. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Oh no, it's tension is growing. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. I I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. How about, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, that's exactly what they said. So, this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. 
I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. <sighs> you're making this hard for the both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reason. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even have to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Oh. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Heh. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Alright, I remember what that one was, I think. Green tea milk milk. Here we go. Uh, and we'll put some latte art on it, and it's going to be... We'll do a, a, a little... A little... <laughs> sad face. Looks like it's tearing up. He's crying a little bit. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? <laughs> Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world... Why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an internal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. See you around, too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Bye. I forgot about their drama. Oh, hi, Freya. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they can find a way to be together. Me, too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Bye bye! We are empty once more. The first day is over. Ooh, sweet spicy chai latte from Yemen. We're on to the next day. We're gonna keep doing, we're gonna do two episodes every, two episodes? Two days every episode. So Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Ooh, the evening whispers, free of charge, Wednesday, September 23rd, 23rd. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Let's start the day. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh! Good evening! Good gracious! What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you! What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude, I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop! Oh? What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes! What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. 
That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I see here and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. Hmm. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about this coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can just ban me for coming. Okay, you're banned. Oh, no! What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Speaking of... Oh, it's the officer! Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seem like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Yebby, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You are as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachil profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Alright, so... I'm guessing honey? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, the rest of them are up to me. Alright, what about the Tomodachil profile? Ooh! Okay, we've got Bailey's. Birthday, 10th of August, freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. My self-summary, freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter, close friends only. Lua, birthday, 2nd of October, I can't read that. I think it might be French. Ooh, Gala, 13th September, Georgie, 1st of June. Freya! Writer for the Evening Whispers, 29th of January. Talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Alright, so coffee with a hint of sweetness. Coffee, coffee, or wait, reset. Coffee, honey, honey? Is that too much sweetness? Uh, let's just brew it and see. We can retry if we need to. What is it? Honey coffee. Um, let's just see. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Do you like it? Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Oh, yay! Thank you! By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with the service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Alright, well that's easy. Coffee, coffee, coffee. There we go. Serve it up. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So, how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You've got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. 
And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So, yeah, as Yabby said. My editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So, technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, you do it all the time, too? Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt into the wound, okay? It's just facts. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Oh, <laughs> you're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. <laughs> What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady-looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside a coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment, or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Yabby's probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using the real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote from the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say, come on! Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy! Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of a prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is, but she has bright green hair. <laughs> oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. And by the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then, there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional forms countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. 
She was with her co-workers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave p people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Mm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Bye. It was good to see you again. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So, I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're just the best, Yabby. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on, go on. Oh, oh. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. What am I experimenting with? Ah, someone is coming. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's you guys! Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hey, Abby. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Oh. Hmm, this is the place you recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in L.A., but... Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Hmm, I remember you like a certain specific drink. I remember it's, like, very important. So maybe milk... Oh, wait. Uh, reset. Coffee, milk, ginger, was it? I want to get it right. I remember how important it was. Milk, ginger, coffee. I don't think that's the right thing. Hang on. Was it coffee, honey, ginger? Maybe I can't make it yet. Maybe I don't have the ingredient. Honey ginger coffee. Okay, that didn't work either. So we'll just serve this. It's probably not right. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Oh shoot, what did I give him? Oh yeah, coffee, honey, ginger. Yep, there we go. Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I'm was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things have changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, Mr... Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? Oh. I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? Guys? <laughs> No, oh, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards. 
but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. That was, this was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with that smile, if you don't mind? Heh, <laughs> nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Oh, well... I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since your first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With news about that newfound virus going viral. <laughs> good, good pun. Pun not intended. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is uh, sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Heh. <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although, people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast gets their supply from the hospital? They can't certify their blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Uh, excuse me for asking, but by going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically some scientists are working. To make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good... If mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks. It might attract new customers. Or turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try experimenting with... Other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. Heh. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered your coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Ah, so I need something that's not coffee. Why don't you use the Fury Sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too... general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... kinky stuff 
to soothe themselves during their fury. What well, kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. <laughs> Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you don't like if you like watching that kind of thing, you know. Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a common method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during a fury. Exactly. So, continuing with your story, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is that it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. Oh, I'm out of tea. You better write that down. You don't want him wrecking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Hmm. I'm sorry. I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Bye. Another farewell of new customers. Oh, hey, Freya. Hey, are you done with writing your work tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you... Well, don't look at me like that. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Well, thanks. There goes my self-esteem. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume? Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night-night. Be careful on your way back. The shop is empty once more. Alright, well on that note, I think that is a perfect place to end it. We have done two episodes so far, and we've already met a good amount of other characters. I do love Hyde and Gala, and the other two, Lua and Baileys. They're all so interesting and exciting. It's so fun to reunite with them after so long. I can't believe it's been like two, maybe three years since I played this game. Oh my goodness, it feels so long ago, but I miss them all so much and it's so fun playing it again. I've been meaning to revisit this for so long and I'm so excited to share it again with you guys and I can't wait for the second one to come out. But before we play that, we gotta get through this one more time. So I look forward to posting another episode of this soon. Like I said, although it will be a little longer, we will do two episodes each time just because... Well, not two episodes. We will do two days each time. That way we can get through it in about seven episodes instead of the 14 I did before. Um, and then I'll have plenty of time to prepare for episode two. But, uh, like I said, this is where we'll end it off for now. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself, get a freshly brewed cup of coffee, and have a good day.